As we are kicking off celebrating Black History Month, the Biophysical Society, too, is highlighting black biophysicists and celebrating diversity with this year's presidential symposium. Sharonda LeBlanc is sitting down with us in studio now with a preview. Good morning. Thanks for your time today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I want to get started with your own personal perspective and ask you the question, what is it like to be a black biophysicist? Well, here it's starting to feel pretty good. Um, I, I came last year to this meeting and that was the first time that they did the Black and Biophysics Symposium, which I'm, I'm speaking at on Sunday. And it was an amazing experience. You could feel the energy in the room and there were several speakers there who, that was their first platform talk. Um, oh, wow. And, and, and being highlighted just created a, a space in order to be uh, represented and, and seen. And that's what I felt there. It came at a time when I needed to see that. I was, I was uh, struggling a little bit in my faculty position and um, I felt hope after seeing that. You feel very supported by the Biophysical Society. Yeah, I do, right. It's, it's, it's a great community of scientists. Wonderful. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your science. What can you tell us? I am a single molecule biophysicist. Uh, okay. So I attach little fluorescent probes to proteins and DNA and I monitor how they interact. Um, so we're really interested in mechanistic details, understanding how um, proteins drive uh, biological pathways forward. Uh, a lot of proteins are what are called ATPases. They use a, a molecule called ATP to change shape. Um, and whenever they change shape, they uh, turn on and off interactions. What do you hope your research will be used for? What kinds of real world applications? Hopefully therapeutics. A lot of times okay. we're thinking about designing single molecule fluorescence based assays in order to challenge them with um, inhibitors. So we want to look for ways to inhibit protein activity in a lot of cases. What are you most looking forward to this week? So I'm definitely looking forward to my talk on Sunday. Um, the current president of BPS is, uh, is a pioneer of my field, uh, TJ Ha, and I'm uh, very excited that he invited me to speak in the President's Symposium. And I'm looking forward to that and also connecting with colleagues. I've already run in a bunch of, uh, to a bunch of colleagues that are in the single molecule community. Uh, some of us are having lunch, so it's, it's always an exciting time to, to, get, um, to get together. Do you have any final words or any pieces of advice for maybe an African American who's just coming into this society who might be looking up to you as a role model? So I, I've always had good experiences coming here to, to BPS and I'm excited that they're creating space to lift black voices and um, I would recommend anyone here to just reach out to people. I mean, I think folks in the society are very approachable. Um, I always just bump into people and they're always willing to share their knowledge. You know, I emailed some data to uh, some, some key people in the field before I came here and you know those people are always willing to, to look at your work and, and to give you guidance. Wonderful. All right, well thank you so much for your time today. Have a great week. All right, thank you. You too.